He hung there naked and exposed for all the world to see. And his people walked by. They derided him and wagged their heads like, Ooh, can't look at that atrocity. The Sanhedrin who had mocked him and hurled insults all night long followed him into Pilate's praetorium, the governor's courtyard, and continued their accusations and their mockery. And then they so hated Christ, their anger and their bitterness and their hatred was so vicious that they followed him all the way to the cross. They didn't just simply, okay, he's dead, we're going to go home now. They followed him and stood in the shadow of the cross, and they continued to mock him and to deride him and to hate him. They said, he saved others. If he comes down off the cross, we will believe him. Would they really have believed him? Even though in the past he had done miracles and they themselves, the Sanhedrin, said, he has done a notable miracle, we cannot deny it. Had he stepped down off the cross in glory, would they have believed him? Well, three days later, He wasn't in the process of dying. He was dead and had been dead three days. And he walked out of a tomb and appeared to people across the Judea. And yet they still did not believe him. This is mockery. This is hatred of a closed heart. Please don't get drawn into the trap. Someone says, if only a miracle, then I would believe. Listen to me. If the heart is not open, if the Lord himself descends with the shout, and when that happens, the shout of the archangel, they will hate him still at his appearing, and they will continue hating him for all of eternity in hell. What kind of father gives his son into the hands of such people? It gives his son to shame. Who is this Jesus who is struck by the soldiers, who's hanging naked on a cross? Hebrews 1.3, he is the radiance of the glory of God, the exact imprint of his nature. He upholds the universe by the power of his, the word of his power. And as they mock him, as they spit in his face, as they strike him, do they not realize that they are striking the face of the omnipotent, majestic God? And of course they don't. How deep is the Father's love that he would subject his son to such horror? Moms, you get bent out of shape when some kid calls your kid a name. Dad, you get angry when someone mistreats your child. What about the Father of Heaven? The suffering and the shame the hatred, the mockery, being lobbed against his most beloved son. What kind of God would be disrobed in shame so that he could clothe the sinner in the robes of righteousness? What kind of God would hang naked on the cross And experience the derision of the world so that you could be invited to experience the honor of the very courtroom and splendor of the courts of heaven. Only a God of magnificent love.